Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can apply Audio Effect in DaVinci Resolve 16 to an entire audio track rather than applying it to audio clips individually. So this can end up being an obvious time saver for you if you want every clip on a track to have the same set of effects. So when you're in DaVinci Resolve 16 and you have your audio clips or recordings queued up on a audio track, the first thing I would recommend you do is make sure that only audio clips where you want that effect to apply to, such as noise reduction, actually exist on that track. So if you have something like sound effects pulled from online and actual voiceover recordings on the same track, it might be a good idea to separate them. If, for instance, you're only trying to do noise reduction on your voiceovers, which may have some background noise. The next thing you're going to need to do is to go over to the Fairlight tab. So in Resolve 16, that is the one with the music note on bottom. Uh, representing audio editing and audio effects. So if you go over to that tab, you should see an interface where you only have audio tracks in the timeline. Assuming your effects library is open, on the left you'll see the library of audio effects from here. But rather than dropping an audio effect onto a single clip like this, where you hover over it and get the white border around it, what you're going to want to do is add it to the mixer for the audio track where that effect should apply. So if you don't have the mixer open already, then click it in the top right hand corner. And then there'll be a menu option called effects here. And for each audio track, you should see a plus sign. So the plus obviously representing to add new audio effects to that track. So in this case, audio track two is where I have my voiceovers. So we can play it back and you can hear it without the audio effects. This is the first test recording. This is the second recording. So if you listen closely, you should be able to hear some background noise there. So let's add a noise reduction to that audio track. So I'm going to click on the plus, go to Fairlight Effects if you want to use built-in effects, or VST if you want to use some external plugins that you've installed as VST format. So I'm going to go to Fairlight Effects and Noise Reduction here. And when you do that, you should get the pop-up window for the controls for, for that specific audio effect. In this case, I'm going to go to auto speech mode so that it can just pick up on the voice sounds and try to filter out the rest. I'm going to hit the X button to close this effect. And now if we go back to the start and we play it back, this noise reduction effect should apply to all of the audio clips on audio track 2 pretty much in real time. So let's go ahead and play it back one more time. This is the first test recording. This is the second recording. So just with that one step, we're able to remove some of the humming background noise. And of course, we can add multiple effects if we wanted. So if you wanted to add in Fairlight Effects and then the Dialog Processor. So by adding in the Dialog Processor, we can have all of these audio effects or whichever ones we want to include apply on that audio track. Um, now, because I have a male voice, it's a good idea to change from the default to male voiceover so that the audio effects are optimized for a male voice. And now we can close that, go back to the start, and play it one more time. This is the first test recording. This is the second recording. And of course, if you don't like some of the effects that are included in the dialog processor, you can just open it back up over here in the mixer, uh, clicking on the settings icon, and then toggle off or adjust the settings on the effects that you want to include or don't want to include. So that's pretty much the idea of how you apply audio effects to all clips along an audio track. It's obviously going to be a lot more time effective than going to effects library and then Fairlight effects and customizing it for every single audio clip. In some cases, you'll still want to do it on a clip by clip basis if you have some special needs for that audio clip. But if you're doing something like voiceovers, this is a really handy trick and I hope it helps you guys out while you're editing your videos. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future DaVinci Resolve 16 content.